His girlfriend asked for a neck massage, but then he found something strange. In elementary school, Annie Collett and Jake Coates crossed paths, but it would not be until almost a decade later when the two crossed paths yet again. This love story is what movies are made of, prepare for your heart to be warmed. They were young and in love, ready to start the rest of their lives with one another. However, something terrible happened that changed their entire lives almost instantly. Read on to discover the tragic story of love between Emmy and Jake. Jake Coates from Monmouth and Emmy Collett from Luckington, Wilshire met when they were 11 years old. They attended the same elementary school and had built a solid friendship from that very tender age. Emmy Collett had referred to the beginning stages of their relationship and said that her feelings were the same as that of a schoolgirl crush. She confessed that she had first begun crushing on Jake when she was just 11 years old. She exclaimed how by the age of 13 she was referred to as his lobster, which originated from Friends the TV show. It can easily be said that these two were simply childhood sweethearts. When they were younger Jake wrote Emmy a note that said, You are my everything, and if you still can put up with me, I will marry you one day. Sadly for these lovebirds, high school was coming to an end, and their relationship was put to the test as they had to decide where they would study next. They both picked different things but managed to keep in touch as good friends. As time passed they drifted apart and their relationship was significantly different. However, they reunited in 2015. The pair had parted ways for almost 10 years but managed to find one another again in their 20s. It looked as though things were right back on track, but life had something else in store. They were overjoyed about being back together, it was as if it was simply their destiny. Jake was based in Sydney, practicing medicine and Emmy was in London where she worked as a teacher. The two were confident that their relationship would withstand the test. They were 10,000 miles away from one another, but had no inclination to give up. The pair FaceTimed every day and managed to visit each other regularly. However, a mere six months passed and their situation took a turn. As time progressed they were putting more energy into the future and the one they wanted to spend together. In 2016, Jake was eager and ready he developed a plan that involved the note that he had once written Emmy when they were younger. Jake was not the type of person who broke his promises, he was about to put the promise he made when he was younger into action. His plan started with a trip to the Philippines, he aimed to propose on a cliff there and have fireworks going off in their surrounding. However, before this could happen, something bad happened. Just a few weeks prior to their trip, Emmy had gone to visit Jake in Australia. On her last day in Australia she washed her boyfriend to massage her neck, she had been experiencing some pain and wanted to release tension before her flight. For Jake, of course, he was happy to give her a massage. He wanted nothing more than for his love to relax, and he thought he was pretty good at it too. Once he put his hands on her neck, he instantly felt something strange. It was an average Sunday afternoon, the couple was enjoying their afternoon ta restaurant when he had suddenly found something wrong with his girlfriend's neck. He was unsure about what it was, but he was shocked nonetheless. He was cold with fear. He was instantly panicked when he felt the lump on Emmy's neck. We were just two people in love lying on a beach in Sydney without a care in the world, who would have known what was to happen next, he said. His entire body was telling him to shout at Emmy and ask her why she had not said something before now, he held himself back and insisted she get it checked out. He insisted she makes an appointment with her GP as soon as possible. Emmy did exactly that, what the doctors had to say was not what they were hoping. In an ideal situation, they would have been packing for their romantic trip when they received the results from her doctor's exam. The couple were ready and could visualize themselves on the beaches of the Philippines however, this instantly changed. Sadly, they received devastating news Emmy was one of the youngest people in the country with a specific type of thyroid cancer, it was extremely rare. The worst part was that the cancer had spread to her spine, lungs, liver, and bones. The damage was irreversible. The couple never in their wildest dreams could have thought that this would happen later on in their lives. The couple was planning to spend the rest of their lives with one another, but a tragic event threw these plans right up in the air. She had complained that she was feeling ill, but her neck was not an issue. The couple had been reunited for just six months when they received the news. 
Jack instantly left Sydney and his life there to be with Emmy in Britain. Upon his arrival, the couple was positive that this was definitely not the end of their love story. They refused to tie up to this diagnosis and prepared themselves to fight this disease together. Emmy maintained a positive attitude towards life and the situation, she was going to conquer it with a smile on her face. All her loved ones came together to help, she said that she was overwhelmed with gratitude with all the love she was being shown. However, Emmy was given more saddening news. The horrific diagnosis was not the end, as doctors told Emmy if she was diagnosed earlier that there was a huge possibility she would have made a full recovery. The doctors told Emmy she would also be unable to have children. As heartbroken as she was she refused to simply accept what she was told. Emmy focused on the glimmers of hope. Jake had up his proposal on the back burner for a few weeks however, he did not want to wait anymore. He sacrificed his extravagant proposal and asked Emmy over a cup of tea whilst in bed. She was over the moon and naturally, she instantly said yes. She began planning her big day, and it also gave her something major to look forward to whilst undergoing all the treatments she was doing. Jake and Emmy were the type of people who focused on their happiness and living life together rather than all the negative that was happening. Emmy lived by her motto, smile, love, and be kind. She was also unable to go in the sun after her diagnosis due to the medication she was taking. The couple aimed to live every moment to the fullest. They decided to go on a spontaneous trip to Dubai for five days. This was a good opportunity for them to have some alone time and simply relax. When they retuned Emmy did something inspiring. Emmy had no intentions of anything involving pity, but simply wanted to be surrounded by uplifting people and attitudes through this battle. Emmy aimed to be as fit and healthy as she could, she also started a fundraising initiative for Royal Marsden Hospital with her fiancé. The couple also completed a 2,000-kilometer bicycle trip. The trip started in London and went all the way to Copenhagen, they managed to raise over £140,000. The pair celebrated their success by getting matching tattoos. Jake and Emmy started out as childhood sweethearts, they became soulmates and eventually partners for life. Their journey was not an easy one, it was a roller coaster of emotions and ups and downs, but they made it to the Isle in September of 2016. They managed to put the idea of their uncertain future in the back of their mind and enjoy their wedding day. Emmy was glowing as she repeated her vows. Jake was so excited the night before his wedding day that he could not fall asleep, he was about to marry the love of his life. The couple's story managed to warm the hearts of millions around the globe as they gained attention. Emmy had a love for teaching and writing, she took up writing children's books during her treatment period. Jake was acknowledged for his charity work involving his wife and the hospital. He was awarded at the Pride of Britain Awards with the ITV Fundraiser of the Year Award. Individuals learned about the couple's story from Emmy's blog which spoke about her struggle. She had no idea what impact her blog would have. The couple still wanted to be a family, despite the trying times they were going through they needed to create a family. Of course, Emmy was unable to have children and planned to use a surrogate. After posting on her blog she had loads of offers of women willing to help. They did not know much about Emmy's time frame, but they were sure they wanted to bring life into the world. They visited reproductive specialists who gathered enough samples for nine embryos. They were unsure of their time frame and wanted to be on the safer side. Liz Begg is one of many people who was inspired by the couple's story and was actually a former classmate. Liz lived near to the couple and she was also already a mom. She did not know the couple very well but she wanted to help after hearing the story. Liz reached out and asked the couple to meet. As Emmy went through chemotherapy she and Jake continued to meet with Liz until they were certain she was the perfect match. They saw her as an angel sent to them and accompanied her to the implantation procedure. Three weeks passed and Liz took a pregnancy test, the three of them waited in anticipation, shaking as they waited for the answer. This baby meant a lot to them as it would be the memory of Emmy living on even if she did not. Jake was a practicing medical practitioner and used his knowledge to help his beloved wife with her journey. He was able to check up on her thoroughly, he could tend to her stitched and if need be administer injections. 
This was both a positive and a negative aspect because it also meant that he understood more complicated concepts and realities. Jake wanted to be a strong support system for Emmy especially because of his experience. However, knowing the answers to difficult questions and understanding the hard truths was difficult. He enjoyed the role played but on the other hand, it was difficult. He took professional stances and enabled Emmy to understand all the lingo, as well as fully know what was happening at all times with her. Three weeks had gone by since Liz's implantation, and they met up so that Liz could take a pregnancy test, well three. They all showed positive. The couple was in shock at how things were turning around for the two of them. Liz remembers this moment and says that the look in Emmy's eyes was indescribable. This was an unbelievable day for the two of them, but it was their last. It had not even been a whole hour after seeing the results when Emmy began closing her eyes, she never awoke. Jake had not once left her side in 18 months, but the 31-year-old warrior's rhyme had come. Emmy died on June 16, 2017. Jake was obviously absolutely devastated and heartbroken, but the idea of a baby kept him going. Jake said, she was my north, my south, my east, my west. The reason I wanted to wake up every morning and be a better person. But there was more to be discovered. He was going through the hardest period in his life when he found out Liza's pregnancy had actually been unsuccessful. Liza tried another two times, but hallied when it became evident that it was not happening. Jake was thankful for Liz Begg and her selflessness. Regardless of how disappointed he was, Jake decided that grief would not overtake him. Jake Coates felt his world crumble, and as if everything was taken away from him when his wife died. He confessed that not a second went by where he did not miss her or think about her. Everything makes him think of Emmy, but he is content with the thought that she is in a better place with their baby. Something more was waiting for Jake. The love story of Jake Coates and Emmy Collett made the headlines in Britain. After Emmy passed away it became the topic of multiple news sources and how Jake was getting on too. Of course, he will forever miss Emmy and carry her in his heart. Jake managed to fall in love once again, eight months later. Jake made a promise at the beginning of 2018, he would run 10 marathons in just two months to fundraise in Emmy's name and her memory that went to the hospital where she was treated. Jake traveled to Iceland where he met a new love interest, Jenna Selby who was an event planner. Jake wanted to reconstruct his heart and decided to post regarding H.S. new relationship in February. His posts managed to change from memories of Emmy to his more current romance. Jake was moving on with his new girlfriend Jenna and her child. The public started realizing that Jenna and Emmy had a few similarities. The media ran with the story and referred to her as Emmy's lookalike. However, Jake received support for his choice to find love once again and also some criticism. However, he had a great response to people's views. Jake received support from individuals and also a good amount of criticism. He was criticized for moving forward so quickly and for how he displayed it. Emmy's family, specifically her sister Sophie, were outraged. Some people defended Jake, his response was the winner. Jake said that he goes by his own mantra of doing his best each day and trying to be happy in the ways he can. Jake went through a tragic loss and is also grieving in his own ways.